I'm really curious, how did you come up with the idea of a kibbutz club and doing it in uh, Vienna? And I'm very curious, what was the reaction? Okay, first of all, there's no such clubbing in Austria. So there's no clubbing where you can go and enjoy Israeli trash pop music, <laughs> dance to Sarit Haddad, <laughs> for example, you know? And that's when we came up with the idea, okay, we need to do something like that. We need to do something with not only, you know, you can go to concert and listen to Glasma music. Nobody cares, you know? <laughs> we want something new, something special, and something with a little trashy flavor added to it. So we were thinking about hmm, how we can do this, and it's Austria, you know? We have a history in anti-Semitism. We have a history in World War II. It's not easy to um, to do a clubbing like that, but you know we thought about the possibilities, and um, then we decided we should do it. We, let's give it a try. And we were really nervous. We were like, okay, uh, nobody knows this music, so we added a little Euro trash music to it, like '90s <laughs> dance music or a little Whitney Houston, you know? That's what we like. And um, yeah, we gave it a try for the first time in 2013 in February, and we expect we expected like, yeah, okay, we like 100 or 200 people and they were like 800. Wow. So we decided, okay, maybe we should keep doing it. And yeah, we are in our, we are in the third year now. And, um, Unbelievable. Yeah. Congrats. And thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what is your story about Israel? Because as far as I know, you were not born here and yet you are like so extremely connected to the culture. You know, Sarit yeah. Haddad, that means, you know, everything. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't know Sarit Haddad? <laughs> No, actually I'm Jewish, uh, but I was raised in Austria without Jewish tradition whatsoever. We are totally assimilated. And I always had a thing for Jewish and Israeli culture, you know, and the fact that in Austria nobody knows about it uh, kind of bugged me. I thought, okay, there's more about Israel to know besides war, you know, and desert and oranges and, and watermelons. So I thought, um, you know, and I'm, uh, I studied film, I studied film studies and theater studies and communication, so I thought, okay, let's put my passion for film together with my passion for Israeli culture, and that's when I started working and doing research about Israeli queer film, because I'm queer. And then you wrote a book about it, which was the first uh, book in this topic published in uh, Austria, right? How, was the, um, uh, how, how did people take it? What was the reaction? The thing is that I already wrote my dissertation about a similar topic and I totally reworked my draft and I added new information and I've been with this festival for the sixth year now so um, I came up with the idea while I was writing my dissertation. I thought okay this has to be a book and the thing is that um, it's the first book in a German speaking country about this topic. And there is no focus on queer Israeli film whatsoever in Europe, you know. You can see the usual films about the Shoah or about religious Jews, but there is no focus on queer Israelis, you know. I mean, everybody knows Aton Fox, everybody knows Yossi and Cheka, but nobody knows about the films made by students, low-budget, no-budget films, you know or lesbian Israeli films, there is, uh, nobody knows about it. And the reason why I, why I wrote this book is I want to make this film known. I want people to watch them, I want people to talk about them, and I want people to, to know that there is more, um, more, um, there's a lot of things happening in Israeli film culture, you know, more than Ethan Fox or Shoah films. And that's why I'm doing it, and I think it's working. You're going to be a judge in the shorts. Uh, tell me a bit about um, how do you feel about it? Are you excited? There, are there specific movies which you are looking forward to see? Um, I just came out of the gay shorts collection, and I really enjoyed it. I really like um, the mix of topics, and I'm actually pretty excited being part of the jury. For me, it's like something new, something different, and I'm very focused <laughs> because I want to choose really the right movie. And I think a movie that should win award, an award um, should have a special um, message. And in this first program, there were a few 
shorts that have really a good message and it's going to be a hard decision. Yeah, and I'm totally excited about that. And special movies from the festival, um, there are a lot. Um, of course, the Israeli movies, that's my passion, you know, I'm going to watch them all. <laughs> um, and every year when I come back for the festival, like one main thing is to check out, the first thing is to check out when is the screening of the Israeli Shorts collections and I think there are like five this year and I'm pretty excited about that too. Are you gonna go out? Are you gonna party while you're here? Of course. <laughs> it's bright month, it's bright week, so of course I'm gonna party hard. Good. As every year the KLB Pride Parade is like one fixed point and of course the parties from the festival um, are always fun to be and I guess I will add some extra parties. I will go out to the Amazona, it's a lesbian bar I really like. And yeah, I think we're all gonna party hard. All right. Cool. Thank okay. you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks so okay. much. Wow. Yeah? You still estimate here? Yeah. Ah. Du auch? Nein. Nein, wirklich. Wirklich. Ich wohne in Wien. Meine Schwester lebt auf